Cooper. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The start of the weekend is upon us. It's Friday evening baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And today on the hill, Blake Snell. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The wind of the pitch. That one misses, and we're underway. First pitch, 640. The wind of the pitch. And now it's even up. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. And now the lefty. And that one fouled off. And now it's one and two. Straighten him up a little bit. is absolutely belted way back there pulls it in on the warning track Batting second. and time now for the Phillies lineup and a big factor for them in recent games Chris Bryant yeah Boog this lineup is setting up the pins for him right now and he's just smashing them driving runs in at a high rate over the last couple of series and it just seems like he's enjoying every opportunity he gets in a big spot not everybody likes to be on the big stage in those big moments but right now he does those pressure moments almost seem to be what he's thriving off of so we'll see if any of that comes up in this one Lifted in the air. Grisham under it. And he makes the catch. Two down. Batting third. The third baseman. Chris Bryant. Two outs. Base is empty. And digging in for Philadelphia. Chris Bryant. That one fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And there's a foul ball. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Two outs. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Chris Bryant bops one out of here. His 17th of the year. It's 1-0. It's really impressive how he's able to take an outside fastball, get around it, and hit it with authority to the pull side. Most guys are popping up weakly to the opposite field.
Gene Segura at the plate here. Good contact guy, good defender. The second baseman, Gene. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Offering is in for a strike. Next one is off the play. Now one and two. He caught it behind his back. Fires to first, and very nicely done for the out. So the Phillies strike first with a solo home run. Now a one nothing ball game. Bottom of the first, and on the hill for the Phillies, Zach Wheeler. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Trevor Story. He's the new shortstop as he comes in as a defensive replacement here. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's going to be Jake Cronenworth. Way to go for the Padres. The second baseman. And he deals. And a foul ball. And yeah, now the 0 1. Ball one, one there. Ball, one strike. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. That misses, two balls, two strikes. That's downstairs and outside. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that ball. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres, looking for better results than last night. He went 0 for 4. First offering misses badly for ball one. And the right hander deals. That one misses. That's five straight. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitters count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 2-0. Good eye right there. Three balls, no strike. Three oh down. And ball four to a board. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. First off, Rain misses the ball. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release ball. offering is in for a strike pretty rare location right there right down the middle this guy paints the edges I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter T 
Tatis waits. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And a foul ball. A swing and a miss. And yeah, the Padres waste the chance. Simply sad. This guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toe in terms of the Matty. sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series. Oh, no. We're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Manny Machado, the next up for the Padres. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. And Manny gets a piece. Pitch. Ball yep. one low. Well, Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes, and let alone to throw it where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. Cronenworth on second. Grisham at first. One gone. In the air, right field. Castellanos pulls that one down, and there's two away. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, one guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Manny Machado. Tops on the team in batting average, Boog. Guy who's showing off some excellent bat-to-ball ability when he digs into the plate. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on. But it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive in runs if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge piece in this lineup. Eric Cosby takes the ball here as he stands in now. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. So the tying run at second. Check swing, but he went too far. And that is strike two. Two on, two outs. This is outside. It's two and two. the pitch and now it's filled up so both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch yeah this is a good chance to tie up this ball game see if you can find some open grass in the outfield the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four Got it, good. The right field. Will Where Myers now. Myers. Two outs. Bases are full. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. 
Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark, a little late, opposite field not. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Pods leave him loaded. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at Petco Park. Second inning, set to go. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. The right fielder, number Singing, four. you can't ask for anything yeah. more. This guy checks Tough all together. the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next offering misses. And that's ball one. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boo. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. And here it comes. Yeah, there's a ball. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. And there's one down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. The hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Hoskins hitting a ton of homers this year. Second most in the National League. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. Out front and foul to the left side. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. And a base hit right there, and that extends the inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Garrett Stubbs. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and zero. Story, the runner at first with two gone. Story on the move. Strike in there. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning is over. They'll try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. Now the DH for the Padres. Nomar Mazzara. The designated hitter. Nomar. Mazzara. Pitch. There's a strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Left hand batter waits. And that one wrapped foul.
the 0-2. Went too far that time. It's one and two. Oh, two curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. And one away. And here's the catcher, Austin Nola. Of course, oh, little bro Aaron, one of the top starters no in baseball. In there for strike one. Yo one. That one fouled off. Swing and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything was on time and flew no, in that no. swing. Got a pitch you can get right. the barrel on and lined it into center Whoa. for the knock. Oh. Those always feel good. Now batting jerks in pro far. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. I guess you throw it that hard, you can. Get away with locations like that right down the middle, but I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. 0-2 now. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. to the top now of the lineup. Second Here's the base second team. baseman, Jake Cronenworth. First pitch, just misses. That's where you want it, it's a good miss. Next offering is in for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike, a count. And a pitch. They say you win. Bounced out to short. They get the force. That's the third out. Padres lead one. They're down. One up. Back here at the ballpark. Out of the third inning. Here's the Phillies catcher, Garrett Stubbs. The catcher. Garrett. Well, on paper, Stone. it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Counts one and oh. The pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. And fouled off. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive it's 
Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now one away. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? This is Simone Muziati. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Makes the catch for the out. Now batting, designated hitter, Brandon Jordan. So here's the Phillies DH, Brandon Jordan. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And now the lefty. Aye. That catches the top part of the zone. And a count, one and two. And a pitch. Foul ball there. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. One and two now. Good eye right there. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Meyer makes the catch, and that'll do it. Phillies down in order, but they hold a one nothing lead. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Way to go. Well, that's good speed good. at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. Good. See if you can get Trent. a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. offering is in for a strike well we call that keyhole even though it's right there and looks pretty good if he doesn't love it he's not going to swing that early in the count and yeah, the pitch is in ball, for a strike that is strike two That one hit to first. Hoskins picks it up, and they tag him out. Now batting. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch, and he just misses. There's the strike. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Next offering upstairs. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. for a strike two and two pitch misses and it's three and two the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four 
up next to the line. Manny Machado up to the plate. The third baseman, Manny Machado. Zone one. There it was, a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Wheeler with a throw over. Tatis dives back in. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Here's the 0-2. And Manny gets a piece. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and there's two away. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity, throwing a slider over 90 baseman. miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. And now it's Eric Cosper. Tatis runs. They pitch out. Go to second. Ow. And that will end the inning. On to inning number four. It's the Phillies one and the Padres nothing. Start of the fourth. Here's Bryce Harper. Leading off for Philadelphia. The left fielder, number three. Bryce Harper. The wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average. And that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. The next offering misses. And the count is one and one. To third. In plenty of time to first. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff. Now man. Third base. Chris Bryant. Here's Chris Bryant now. Rips one to right. Myers makes the play. That's out number two. Now batting the second baseman. Gene. Segura. Two outs, base is empty. Now here is Gene Segura. First offering, and it just misses. out away. Here comes a pitch. And one and two. Just off the inside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that one moves his feet. Why to kick the pitch? That one out to right. Myers glides back. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Phillies go down quietly in the inning, but they lead it one to nothing. 
Back here in San Diego, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And Lead leading off the bottom the of the fourth, race, Eric Hosman. The first baseman, Eric Hosman. Wheeler back to work. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Slapped foul. Next pitch misses, and it's one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. It's going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Up next to the Padre, the right fielder, Will Myers. And now the right fielder, Will Myers. He's over one. And first offering is fouled off. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Next pitch is outside. Next one off the plate inside. Two and one. Two one pitch is in there and the count is even. Next one misses, and that's ball three. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want. Righty delivers. That's towards center. Luziati drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Up next to the Padres, the designated hitter. Here's Nomar Mazzara. Mazzara. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering misses, and it's a ball and a strike. The pitch. Fought off foul. The next pitch misses. The count now two and two. And that's outside. Three, two. Next offering is foul back. Foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Down. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Padres go down quietly. And it remains 1 0. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Leading off for the Philly, the right fielder, number four, Nick Castellanos. And a pitch. 
Going one. Going one. Next offering is in for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Next one offering in the one, dirt. Yeah. Going to count one and two. And now two, two and two. two Down on strikes. One away here in the fifth. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Now at the plate, Reese Hoskins. Sixth in the NL in RBIs. That hits the dirt. Ball one. The wind of the pitch. That misses. And the count is 2-0. Oh. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. And he deals. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. In for a strike, now three and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver as quickly as possible, keep the momentum going. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. Trevor now Story back. comes up to the plate. Trevor Story. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Next offering upstairs. The 2-0 is in for a strike. All leave it up. Snakes through that one. It's a strikeout. And the Phillies are set down in order. Down quickly go the Phillies. They lead it one number. Something new. Hello, my name is Yucky. So because you're like the gas tank of a Mr. Suckies in the wind that ain't feeling you. See, every time you see me, I got something new. Back here at Petco Park. Here's the catcher, Austin Dolan. Way to go. Well, All these fans Andre. definitely want to get the catcher. involved oh, in the game. Yeah. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff oh, man or even a base runner on. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Here's a one-two. Stays alive. Slice to right, and there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard.
up next only two hits up. allowed so far tonight, so, dude, so I don't think that You're one will disrupt down. his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. So digging in now for San Diego, Jerks and Crowfall. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Nola gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Right hater deals and a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals and a foul ball. He stays alive. Nobody out. Runner at first. The other way, and it goes just foul. Got him! And one out now. Hook gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two strike situation, it's just become the such a big problem big. for hitters. In more recent years, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on. Well, Cronenworth, the next to hit, takes outside. Pitch in for a strike. Strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Zach Eflin up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Rodone, the lefty, warming up as well. Ball to strike. Hit weakly on the ground. Segura fires the first on the run. That takes care of Cronenberg. Good late life on that inside fastball. Van in on the hands and got that weak contact. Little slow yeah, grounder to get the out. Good seven Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. Grounded out his first touch. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Sends it to first. That takes care of Grisham. And that is the inning. With through five, it's the Phillies one and the Padres nothing. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's the speedy catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Off of the, Phillies, the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Craig Stammen, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Hill, a left-hander, also throwing. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. His first homer in the majors, and they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his life. He's got to be floating around the bases right now. Yeah, he'll remember every detail of that at bat for years, as he should. It's a true once-in-a-lifetime event. Now, Boo, there's so many times when a young player might wonder if he's ever even going to get to the big leagues and do something like this. Well, he doesn't have to wonder anymore.
And now for the Phillies, Simone Muziati. The batter, the center fielder, Simone. High in the air, out to right. Myers going back on this one. Racing makes the catch. One away. Now batting, the designated hitter. Brandon. And next is the designated Jordan. hitter, Brandon Jordan. First offering misses the mark. The next offering misses. Ball two. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Next pitch misses. And that's ball three. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. And a four-pitch no, walk. One the gone runner at first. Three. Bryce Harper Bryce. will hit next. Harper. First pitch just misses. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well and wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Jordan leads off first with one away. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Here goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. The throw, tag, and he's out. Two unsuccessful stolen base attempts tonight, so I think this is where we probably see them change up their plan offensively. The running game just isn't working, and those are costly out, so they're going to have to string together some hits and change things up a little bit. Smash to the left side. Tosses the first, Harper retired. That ends the frame, but add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. Here's some real power at the plate. Fernando Tatis Jr. Not shortstop. Better than go. Wheeler back to work. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Baseman, First pitch basketball in a great spot to do some damage. He squared it up nicely. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's Manny Machado. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And the righty deals. Two balls, no strike. Wheeler with a throw over. Tatis dives back in. Well set to throw pitch number 100. He needs a quick inning here if he's going to be able to make it through six complete. Rip towards third. Slides, but it gets by him. Throw back in quickly. 
first and second now with nobody out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now it's Eric Cosmo in there for strike one. And it's one and one. Right into the play. Right side, Castellanos. Moving under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Runner tagging for third. He is safe. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite right barrel it up enough to really drive it. Good. Now it's the right fielder, oh, Will yeah. Miles. looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Connor Brogdon up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Coonrod, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Now a screamer into the outfield. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He pulls into second as a run scores on the play. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make a pay. Next for the Padres, Nomar Mazzara. Now batter, the designated hitter, Nomar Mazzara. And that's in there for strike one. His own fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Machado at second, Myers over at first with one away. Next one misses, and that's ball one. Another ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The 2 1. And there's the strike. pitch stays alive two on one out to third might be two knocks it down the throw is offline he's safe it's 2-2. Two, two. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Zach Wheeler won't go any further, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back to the new pitcher after this. Zach Heflin on a pitch here. He last pitched two days ago. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And uh, he did a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. 
Austin Nolan, the next up for the Padres. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. First offering, and it just misses. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. And that's just foul. At the belt and fire. Now fly ball to right center. Castellanos on a dead sprint, racing back. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. And a run comes in to score. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. Now it's the switch hitting no outfield. Jerickson Profar swings through that one. Oh, one. one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Oh, one down. He swings and fouls one off. Second and third here. One away. Next offering misses, and a count one and two. One and two. He's hit. What run is in? He's in there. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. The batter, number nine, second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Run around the boot. Little chopper rolls foul. The next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Rudder goes again. A one fouled off. Two and two. Swings and misses, and there are two down. Trent Grisham, the, the next up for the Padres. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There it was, 0 oh, 0. Oh, here it is, hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. Kicks and fires. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. Nothing doing. Count moves to one and one. Next pitch is downstairs. Two one. Strike two. Two two. Up the middle, a dive, he's got it. Gathers and throws, they get the out, and that will do it. So five runs in the inning as they bat around. We're through six full.
It's the Padres five and the Phillies two. Back here in San Diego, top of inning number seven. And digging in for Philadelphia, Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant. And a pitch. That one misses, and that's ball one. Next pitch is outside. Next one misses. Three balls, no strikes. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Well, it might be time to dig into that bullpen. He's looking a little fatigued. Here for Philadelphia. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. Over one, he flies out to right this first trip. Well, the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. and oh. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Still pick to first. Brian back on a dive. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. And downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Segura out in the play. And there's one away. Now batting, right fielder, Nick Castellanos. And now, Nick Castellanos caught looking his first time up. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. And now the lefty. And one and two. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally. And this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Liner stands at first. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Set for the last half of the seventh. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Not shortstop. Fernando Tatis. The right hander back to work. Junior. Splits the plate. Strike one. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Kicks and deals. And delivers oh, outside. Down. Missing oh, inside. Down. And it's two and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. two. Got him looking. And there's one down. Here's number Manny Machado. With this kind of lead, he Manny. can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do.
and he swings and misses at the initial offer. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Here's now Hosmer. Back. The first baseman, Aaron Hosmer. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The next offering misses. Two and oh. And that one in the air center field. Luciato under this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. Three up, three down for San Diego. They're still out in front, 5-2. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Austin Adams. And he'll work on holding this lead. Austin Adams. Top of the eight, and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slug is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Drew Pomerantz getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Next offering is way upstairs. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. He just tried to overthrow that pitch. That one misses, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Next offering down low and in the dirt. one misses so a lead off walk I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow Trevor Storm stands in for the Phillies he was a strikeout victim his first time yeah, foul ball that fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective just got to keep it on the corners Pitch. And it's strike two. That one missed. One and two. Hoskins on at first. Nobody out. Got it. And one gone. That slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely pulled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Garrett Stubbs. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. First pitch, not close. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, get a lockdown closer ready to come in. And the 1 0. Just missed.
Myers moving to his left. Tracks it down for the out. Tagging it first, he breaks for second. In there safely. The batter, the center fielder. And stepping Simone. in is the speedy Muziata. Simone Muziata. Fly ball to right. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. Philly strand one. They trail at 5 2. And welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Stepping in for San Diego, Will Myers. The right fielder, Will Myers. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Segura throw to first. One up, one down. The batter, the designated hitter. No ball. Mazzara. So here's the Padres DH. No more Mazzara. First pitch way inside a fastball. Close, but called a ball. But it's 2-0. Good eye right there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, now good. Bad. And now it's Austin Nola. Nola. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. That's hard hit in the line. Two away now. The left fielder, number 10, Jerickson. So digging in now for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. On the ground, right side. On the story, and that ends the inning. One left for San Diego, and it remains 5-2. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Drew Pomerantz. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. All set to start the ninth in this one. Stepping in the long ball threat, Brandon Jordan. The Bills in striking distance, but have some work to do. It starts with the lead off, and need a good at bat out of him right here. Left, he turns, kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. The pitch. This one chopped in the ground, but foul. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Swing and a miss, down on strikes. And there's one away. 
tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And now here is Harper. In the air, out towards right center. Grisham settles underneath it. And puts the squeeze on that. And it's two down. Now that Jose Davis with Bryant. Chris Bryant stands in for the Phillies. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The 0 1. And a swing and a miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone, throw something maybe down in the dirt. Next pitch misses, and the count is 1 and 2. is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a tight play game. Got a little of everything. Some time we're winning. Runs on the board. Keep pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely. One one to one. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Like a trampoline, glass shake when I roll past the scene. Candy apple paint dripping plastic green. Everybody eating, you can ask the team. Fast and lean, stickers bumping tags, clean. Keep me something, all bad. The pump on base hit like a earthquake. Just hold on, I hit the block and roll up. Got like two 18s, a favorite two short song.